Hi, my name is Alberto Chavez and this is let's say this is a special request this is not the first um, English tutorial I record but it is the first English tutorial for my channel um, on YouTube uh, Guatemala Chavez and um, I was asked to create um, Optimus Prime Generation 1 as I said this is not the first English tutorial and besides this is not the first um, modeling Optimus Prime tutorial that I do for my um, for my blog my blog it's um, a Guatemala 2 2 in, in with numbers dot blogspot that's come that come and um, there you should find a couple of tutorials that might be of your interest however as I said this would be the very first in English so hopefully you will be able to understand me and I will be able to explain myself as good as I hope to be again um, first of all this is a very basic tutorial well, actually this is going to be a tutorial for uh, people who is not very used to work with Blender or is starting to work with Blender anyways so first thing first I will call my monitor uh, this is monitor is for um, keyboard and mouse so please keep an eye on this monitor in case I forget uh, forget to say a couple things that I'm doing first I will go to front view with number one and orthographic view with the number five so I really 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 see the front of my object this might be a two or maybe three part tutorial I will just model the the robot and I will give some material but it I, I will not texture the the robot only with basic materials uh, probably with cycles but um, first I will model the whole thing and I will start with the head why because actually the person that requested this tutorial uh, was very um, very specific I need the head to be like um, Optimus Prime generation 1 head so just in case um, that this is not exactly generation 1 I uh, downloaded a couple of images from uh, Google Images uh, from the toy so if it's not exactly the way you want well, anyways you can uh, go ahead and, and make some uh, you know uh, tweaking and here and there so you will be able to find uh, the exact form that you want okay then I will get read just by now of this side panel uh, letter T and I will bring the other side panel the right side panel with the letter N and I will go ahead and find if I can find it of course uh, oh god it's not, oh, here it is background images I will go ahead and click and leave the check mark here and click on add image I will go ahead and open an image and let's see it is I think it's here here images Optimus Prime and as I said I will start with the head which is this one here I remember the person that asked for the tutorial uh, please make sure that the eyes are light blue so don't worry it's going to be light blue um, I will start with this just this image right now and I will go ahead and model it I will go to wire view with the set just like this and I will try to place the image right in the middle in the middle of this cube so I will move in the x-axis if you can see I will try to place it 
right in the middle and I hope it's in the middle all right and now now that I have this in the middle I will go ahead and um, press the tab key I will go to edit mode and with control R I will add an edge loop right here you see the purple line here it's an edge loop so I will go ahead and click it press escape to place right in the middle the, the edge loop this extra line along the whole cube it's right in the middle number one again I will press A to deselect the whole notes and B to box select just the nose the notes on the side not the nose the notes okay X I will delete the vertices why because I will play with some modifiers I will go to this monkey wrench here and I will select mirror so you can see there's a mirror added you see I will go ahead and decrease the opacity so you can see a little bit better the lines here the notes and stuff okay from here I will start the modeling part so first B to box select and I will get these things till um, the very bottom of the jaw if you can call it some some way I guess is the jaw of Optimus Prime I will A to deselect B to make a box select and um, I will go ahead and I think about here I will then add another edge loop with control R click make it a little bit up deselect box select is the same um, same procedure first A to deselect actually with A you select and deselect if you have something selected with A you will deselect it if you have nothing selected with A you will select the whole thing okay here as you can see we have like um, just a little thingy <laughs> I don't know how to call it so this face I will need to extrude it inwards so I select the face and I press E to extrude into the Y axis but as you can see and if you go if we go to the side view again um, to the front view sorry with the number one you will see that here here's the the jaw part and as you can see there's no mouth for Optimus Prime but there are no more well this face is here this this faces will help just to make the rest of the head so back to node selection A to deselect B to box select and I will try to place it we will now model just the the inner part of the face which would be this little part of the nose plus the eyes that will be light blue I won't forget that <laughs> so but this face is here the exterior faces are not necessary at all so I can get rid of them with X and delete faces See, there's nothing here now see there's nothing here to be selected at all so one again this part this face I will leave it right now just to see if it works for me for the nose uh, in the future but right now I'm gonna leave it there so we can say the jaw it's almost ready we we can come here and select it 
if you see the four little squares down here we have this which is face select we have this which is edge select and we have this which is vertex select I will go ahead and click on this one here edge select why is we'll select this one and I will push it a little outside actually a little bit more yeah like that why because as you can see here this part the jaw it's a little bit um, has an edge here in this edge it's a little pushed to the front so if that that makes any sense right now this face here you see now this top face I shouldn't have deleted because I will need to extrude it anyway on the y-axis because I will make this part um, whatever you want to call it right now the word doesn't come to mind so the way you want to call it that's what I'm going to do <laughs> this is selected I will go ahead and extrude on the z-axis E Z. here now I will go and go ahead and click on vertex select A to D select B to box select I know it's um, I'm repeating these like a pirate but hey this might help you out in the future don't forget it so here uh, no leave it there and now this this part which is just alone in the dark now I will create another edge loop here we'll select this part just this tiny part and push it on the set axis to the top well not to the top but where you see it right now now this is like the inner part of the whole head now we'll go ahead and um, model the helmet if we can call it the helmet we will use exactly the same cube so we can um, select these two nodes these two vertexes and shift D to duplicate enter to place it there and now move it on the X uh, a little bit down on the Z axis and besides if you can see I need to push it to the front okay now again I will select just this little node and come here we should just a little bit we'll select the other node and extrude it on the X right there now here this little part I will need to do it um, let's say by now that I will use this um, this path here this pattern well actually this path but I will need to do it without it afterwards let me go ahead and do it I think it's better now it's without it because I need to um, give it the shape that it has here just about there and as you can see we are already starting with the helmet and it is a little bit wider now this little part here we'll do the same E to extrude X to do it on the X axis and this way up this way down 
besides and of course I will need to press it on the X axis and try to make sure that it will follow as much as possible this set of four or this face not the or this set of four vertices one again and I can go ahead and well actually I will do this and then this Mm, yeah, just about there, and I can extrude it again on the y-axis, E, Y, let's say about there, as so a matter of fact I should go basically to the back of the head. This part of the ears if you can call it ears um, we'll do it af afterwards so you can see this goes to the back of the head so I will just come here mm, but no this cannot go to the back this should be about there why? because I will go ahead and make it match with these lines right here okay now that I have done that I can extrude it till the back EY so I can do it in the Y axis uh, maybe a little too much let's say there and now that is done I can come and give it the shape of the head as you can see this one needs to go like I don't know maybe here please note that I have not touched this part which I should right now E Y a little bit up and now E Y and with the arrows I will oops I will make them match with this here doesn't have to be perfect because we will join the vertices afterwards anyways so again it doesn't have to match perfectly so it should be back like about there yeah okay now this is uh, just a little part of the head so you can see there's another part here here and here hey oh here remember there are no vertices here we are just mirroring <laughs> this part here so <coughs> shame on me sorry e set to the top now this part needs to come just about there remember that we're trying to follow as much as possible this draw but as you can see the draw itself is not so, um, symmetri symmetric sorry um, that's why it's not feeding perfectly okay so don't worry um, our model will be symmetric okay just about there yeah let's see we have it I'm gonna 
push it a little bit on the y-axis and now no not yet not yet with the eyes all right now let's make these things match I will go ahead and create a loop um, edge loop here a loop cut that, that is another software <laughs> Um, and uh, here I will select these two um, vertices I can do either one of two things and actually I'm going to do this one here I will press the V key V for Victor and I will um, so you can see I just separated this vertices in two so I will match this here I will do the same here V wait what oh it's already separated sorry so now that I have them the way I want it I can go ahead and select these four vertices and press the F key so I can create a face and I will do the same here F, same here, F, and there's a long way there. So you can see, anyways, there are here a uh, vertice that is completely alone, and that's something that you should not do because. You, you really want your vertices to conform a whole remember it's always um, a good idea to create quads instead of triangles remember that don't forget it okay mm, however it seems to be a little problem here so let me see. Oh, 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 oh. So I have to come here. Hmm. It's a single thing. Okay, let's see how it goes. No, 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 no. All right. Oh, because the problem is that here is the face. So see that's the problem I will need yeah that's it and I will go ahead now I can do it uh, here like about here yeah here these four press the F key and I have another face so with this ones here one two three four but I will need to create another edge loop here so I can come here and do the same one two three four face see okay So you can see it's not exactly uh, an easy part because we need to find out the best way to join vertices and to move them so we can recreate the face, the real face of this hero of all times just one problem with Optimus Prime he always dies doesn't he? don't tell me no I know he does uh, let me see mm. yeah here and now back and 
here yeah just like that uh, yeah, it's more or less the shape of the head now the other part it's now the ear part which will be kind of separated because as you can see this is kind of a circular shape and that's exactly what we're going to do remember we are in edit mode do not forget about it okay edit mode within edit mode you will press shift a and select circle remember within edit mode okay and we can come here and I will rotate it on the y-axis R Y 90 degrees and I will place it as best as possible uh, we'll, with the S key I will escalate it I will make it a little bit bigger and actually I will push it to the back like that now we can go ahead and extrude it on the x-axis E X like about there and scale it just like that and now we can go ahead and close it E S E S we have two different options here one is starting to fill four vertices like one two three four and press the F key and so forth and so on until the whole thing is closed or you can go ahead and select the whole chain of um, vertices and press Alt M and select at center you see all of them were closed what's the problem with this is that now these surrounding faces are quads the outer ones the middle ones are quads but the inner ones are triangles if you are not going to animate this there's not a problem if you are going to animate this my recommendation is to make it um, faces of quads okay we will leave it just the way it is right now because we will not animate this if you are planning to well then go ahead and create some quads now as you can see this part this um, I don't know this big part of the ear if it is part of the ear it's coming right out of this circular shape so I can go ahead and create a, an edge loop and select with the fake selection I will go ahead and select this two right in the center I can go ahead and extrude them just like about there and I will rotate them in the y-axis R Y so I can flatten this a little bit okay extrude again and press S just a little bit and now extrude it again and here I can press S key again just about there. What about this part? Don't worry. Control R, another edge loop. A to deselect. We will go ahead and select these three vertices here and push it on the x axis just to fill in the places we need. Remember, do we need to keep on pressing the one key or um, how do you rotate, by the way, out of this um, front view? You just press the mouse wheel and drag it. As simple as that. 
Okay. Now, the round part of the shape, it comes, this part here, this one, needs to go inwards, right? So, this whole thing, oops, not that one, this one, E, Y. Now, as you can see, there's a hole here, but we just fix it. We will need to add another edge loop here, because there are faces here. Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah. F, there's a face. F, and there is another face. See? We are, let's say that we are going in the right way, right? Now, again, this um, round shape, we will need to do, um, let's say, a little trick. We could go ahead and um, extrude, 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 till we uh, form here this uh, round shape of the head right we can go ahead and press O for edit um, proportional editing and increase the range the scope with uh, the mouse wheel and do this right Again, this is just a little trick. <laughs> um, now, we will go ahead and fill in faces. So easy. Here and here. I can go ahead and extrude it in the x-axis till they meet each other like, like here. Okay. One thing, if you want this and this to meet and to clip, obviously, let me do this, you will need to click on clipping, okay? When you do that, as you can see, it's all together. Let's get rid of um, proportional editing. And now this two, EX, just like that. This two, EX, till they meet each other. This two, EX, here, EX, here, EX. And the round shape of the head, it's almost, almost done. Okay. A to deselect and if you want to do something like this all you need to do is alt shift and um, right click but actually that's not what I wanted I will need to select the vertices for the round part and um, front view and we'll extrude till they meet the back of this part here. Right? Now, until now, we have just modeled partially blind. Get rid of this with the letter N. Now I will press set so I can get out of um, wire view and as you can see there is lots, tons of things to improve, right? Lots and lots of things to improve, but we are in the way, right? So now I will 
we'll go ahead and extrude just one single vertice. Letter E, X, just about here. We'll select this one, this one, and this one, and press F so I can close this part right here. So, what's the big problem now? Back to the wire, um, wire view is that this part right here should come almost to the very forehead right and as you can see we are very away from the forehead so set and we will need to select this two vertices press O so I can push it along with all the vertices mm, but just like about here and now forget about the O and select this faces and press them or push them not press them push them just like about here which is in fact almost like the helmet itself of the big hero Optimus Prime set C now this two vertices here actually this two again <laughs> this two should be as you can see a little bit just a tiny bit out and these two ones I will go ahead and take them in okay besides this will not work so let's get rid of it and what I will need to do is first control R and edge loop like about here and another edge loop like here And now go ahead and try to make the nose. We'll extrude it on the Z axis. Okay. And obviously we need to give it a couple tweaks. Like that. I will push it inwards along with this one like about there yeah set and just need to make it till the top about there okay as you can see it's way better than what we had before right press it a little bit out O to proportional editing, but not the whole thing, just like about here. Right now, we do not have, because this um, image that I, that I um, downloaded, it's just um, for this part of the head. The other parts but the rest of the body I have the back so once we start modeling that part we will go ahead and copy the back of the head right now we will stay here just here just like this because it's been quite a bit now and you know for mental health I guess it's better for us to stay here we will continue next week with this modeling I hope this will help you out and besides again I hope you will be able to understand my English my accent and so forth and so on um, and if so I hope to see you here next week I am Alberto Chavez thank you very much for uh, following these tutorials 
remember you can go ahead and subscribe um, my blog again it's a Guatemala 2 2 with numbers dot blogspot dot com besides um, you can go ahead and find me on YouTube a Guatemala Chavez that's the name of the channel and um, you can also follow me on Twitter um, which is at a Guatemala that's the name of the account thank you very much see you next week I hope until then may open and free software have a long long life